Hi friends, today we will see how to model the tronian pipe support and dummy pipe support. So what is tronian pipe support? You know, uh, there are different types of tronian support, like uh, horizontal tronian or vertical tronian. It is nothing but, for example, if you see here, uh, if any pipe is running vertical, if you, if you weld one pipe in the horizontal direction to support, to get the support, and it will be resting on the steel. This is I section, so it is resting on the steel. So this is a one type of uh, tronian support. And you see the right side DS6, it is, it is having both side supports. Both sides, if you want support, then you can uh, consider this support. We need to model this pipe. So in Caesar, uh, you need to model this pipe, this horizontal pipes, pipes, and uh, here we need to provide the support. I mean, here in, in Caesar, we need to provide the support at this location. Okay. Wherever it is resting, there we need to provide the support at, at uh, in Caesar. So this is uh, our um, horizontal trunnion for the vertical pipes, and these are all uh, elbow trunnions for elbow. So if you need any support on the on this elbow, then uh, uh, we need to model this trunnion in the horizontal direction and uh, provide support at this location. Okay. Like this, uh, different types of tronians are available. So you need to uh, model according to your support standard. This is a support standard. From the support standard, only we, we took this one. Okay. And then uh, this is the same only. So this pipe, the tronian pipe or dummy leg pipe, uh, will have some standard time, uh, standard sizes based on your main pipe size. For example, your main pipe size is 2 inch and your dummy leg uh, dummy pipe should be 1.5 inch. So you have to follow your pipe support standard to model in your scissor. Okay, for example, if it's 6 inch line means 4 inch dummy leg has to be modeled with shed, uh, dimension 40 and uh, schedule has to be followed as per the PMS, piping material specification. And material, same as pipe material. For example, if you see, this is a, one of the side photos. So this is for the vertical pipe. And uh, you see this horizontal uh, pipe, two horizontal pipes are uh, welded and it is resting on a steel. You see, this, this is the existing steel. And they have welded this one to the main pipe with or of pad. This is a pad. This one is there, no? So this is a pad, and uh, and it is welded uh, welded to the pipe. Okay, this is a horizontal to support, to nail support. And one more support is uh, this is for the horizontal pipe with a vertical to nail. Uh, so far we have seen the horizontal to nail only. Okay, now if you see here, uh, this is for vertical to nail. This this is a vertical to nail. Okay, this is vertical tunnel. So for the horizontal pipes, uh, our tunnel will be welded to the pipe. Okay, without cut, I mean no hole in main pipe. There should not be any cut on the main pipe. Just they have to weld down the pipe. Okay. So and then it, it, it will have some limitations. Uh, for example, height of the tunnel. There, there will be some limitation. That limitation you have to follow. So maximum height has to be followed based on your support standard. Okay. For example, some uh, 500 mm or 1000 mm. Because if uh, this height increases, what happens is this tronian will subject it to buckling. So I mean, this uh, moment will be more, and this pipe may be bent. They will tends to bend. So. Uh, there will be some limitations that is based on your support standard. You have to follow this, uh, the height. Okay. So the, this is a vertical tunnel and this is for the elbow vertical tunnel. Okay. So I say on an example of a side photo, you see uh, on the elbow, uh, a tunnel pipe has been welded with a base plate. This is a base plate. So 
Brain split is nothing but this is this is a base split. This one is no, this is a base split. Okay, so your base split dimension is this dimension. In the you see this is section view, section view. So your blade base plus diameter is this one, and uh, your tunian pipe is this one. Okay. So these details will be uh, available in your support standard. And then uh, uh, these are the major types of tunian. This is adjustable tunian type. For example, near to the pump suction and out is church. So you, you may have adjustable support. So adjustable support in Caesar we don't have special modeling just we need to model as a, uh, a dummy pipe only but uh, only thing is we need to check the material there will be a temperature difference and uh, 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 and material difference we need to uh, correct uh, we have to follow as per the support standard you see there will be a different material type uh, one is uh, pipe and after that plate okay so you, you need to be very careful while modeling the uh, adjustable support we will see how to model the, uh, this type of tuning. Okay. okay, now uh, we will see how to model uh, the tuning in the vertical line. First, we will see how to model the tuning in the vertical. For example, if you have support, any support here. In between some supporters there what we need to do is just to break this node num node maybe at uh, uh, four meter from top or four meter at four meter you have any tunian support means okay control p at four meter four meter means you just type four control p for break and then okay that's okay so here you have some support like this maybe your steel is available only at this direction means so you need to model this tunian okay and uh, provide support here okay or if you have steel at both the locations then you have to model the tunian accordingly so uh, see uh, one side tunian okay so what we need to do once you break this element you just uh, at the, from the center you need to model one rigid like this and uh, if you want to model continue the model from here to here one tunian support tunian pipe and uh, provide support here so uh, if you want to model again this direction you have to model one rigid and you have to provide one pipe and provide support in this direction okay so like this now we are going to model first we'll see on the right side uh, uh, we'll see now we need to break this control b okay sorry insert insert control i that is for insert go to the next element so you have to do it here only because the temperature up to the out od of the pipe it it should the, it should be the pipe temperature okay so for tunian it should have ambient temperature because there will not be any fluid flow Okay, just uh, atmospheric temperature, I mean, whatever available at the site, that temperature has to be entered. So here, I am just giving 91, okay. And uh, uh, in the direction, you see, what is the direction? It is in, we are, it is in X direction. So now we are going to model in, model the pipe. For example here so it should be modeled in x direction x direction because you see here it is x only no? so that's why x direction we have to model okay. so you model the rigid od of the pipe 355.6 you see this is 355.6 divided by 2 now you see one pipe uh, uh, appeared here so you need to double click rigid without weight no need to provide any weight for this one okay just uh, model as rigid no need to give any weight okay then again uh, if you are modeling for one side just leave this leave this rigid 
and you can model the tuning at the end of the input last element go to the last element and do that one okay or if you want to do modeling I mean modeling in this direction also then again you, you need to break insert you need to insert and this node number your uh, center point that is 90 so go to the last element is 92 I mean uh, uh, two, two node number is 92 and you have to model in minus x direction rigid in minus x direction minus 355.6 divided by sorry uh, divided by 2 I did enter so divided by 2 okay again now on pipe appeared you just double click here okay now you can see two rigids appeared here now once you complete this one you go to the last element control end okay so this is the last element and go to the next element I'll see for next element so you should remember this node number is 91 okay so from at the from node number you have to enter 91 and your two node numbers should be for higher uh, uh, node number for example it should not get repeated whatever we have considered in the current model so you see maximum node number is 11,000 to 10 only so you can consider 15,000 or 20,000 even 20,000 just consider 20,010 okay so now we need to model the tunian as per the support standard for example our line size is 355.6 that is 14 inch so for, for 14 inch uh, you have tunian sizes is it for 14 inch your tunian size is 12 inch okay so you need to model the tunian for 12 inch so here you change the dia as 12 inch okay and thickness you have to refer your pms whatever value given in the pms you have to refer okay so for example our uh, Thickness is 40 schedule example I'm telling so you enter 40 okay or if it is standard means you enter standard you enter standard okay and then fluid density should be zero because there will not be any fluid here corrosion allowance you keep the corrosion allowance same same okay and uh, you say ambient temperature should be your uh, ambient temperature only 21 20, whatever your ambient temperature same only you need to consider and pressure atmospheric pressure you can consider hydro it's not required and material is same as pipe so you need to check what is the pipe material you see pipe material is a 106 grade b so again here you have to enter as 106 okay now we enter the dimension so this dimension based on your steel availability you have to mention clearly okay for example, your length of uh, uh, what is L? L will be given in your support standard set. This support standard. So this maximum, I think they have not provided here. We need to check uh, in the notes what is the maximum length. You see, part of a main uh, a material is same as main pipe. Uh, I think they have not provided in this standard. Uh, we will see. E dimensions D they are provided but they are not given uh, dimension for L and H so whether uh, the reinforcement pad here this is a reinforcement pad okay so this is a reinforcement pad so this reinforcement pad whether it is required or not that will be checked after our uh, uh, completing the analysis will I will tell uh, uh, how to select a reinforcement whether our pad is required or not okay so I will go to some other standard uh, this is one of the standard I use and uh, if you go to we'll say other uh, whether they given any dimension of L this is totally support okay 
L03, you see, uh, in a, some other specification they mentioned, you see, maximum recommended dummy length is 1 meter, 1.5 and 2 meters, okay. So, this longer can be used consultation with the stress engineer, L. Because you should not go uh, about uh, 1 meter or 2 meters because this will be, uh, tends to bend and uh, uh, you need to check with the Tunian calculation. I will show you how to do the Tunian calculation. So, uh, approximate is up to 1 meter you can give, minimum 500 you can maintain. Okay, now I am going to enter the value here. For example, our steel, based on your steel availability, your steel is uh, here like this. Okay, so our tronian will be registered here. Okay, so what we need to do? We need to check the length. From here to here. How much the length we need to check. So now I am taking this dimension as 500 mm. Okay. See 500 mm it has been modeled and you have to provide support, select restraint and provide plus 5, 0.3, coefficient of friction you have to provide as 0.3. If you need guide means you just enter guide here, 20010G, G for guide, okay so your guide also will be up here. And uh, to, uh, this is insulation and all is there, you just make it as zero, it is not insulated. So like this you need to model the trunian uh, in the horizontal direction. If you want to uh, one more if you want to model one more trunian, then you can go to the next node. And uh, you know we have modeled uh, in the minus x direction also, that is 92. So here in the from node you have to enter 92 and you have to enter uh, dimension as 500 okay or if if the steel is more 600 mm if a steel length is i mean the steel is available at 600 only means you have to model 600 and just uh, give the support like this so i need to model like this a tunian so if you check the temperature it should be 20 minutes uh, inside the rigid should be your the rigid temperature should be should match as per your uh, pipe uh, temperature and second is T2 also ambient temperature and T3 also ambient temperature you see this is uh, 27 degree okay so now uh, we'll see how to model the elbow here okay for example layer uh, steel is there at the vertical portion uh, at this location, we don't have steel uh, uh, in the vertical. So now, at the elbow only, if you want to model means what we need to do. So for elbow trunian, how to model means? In the elbow is uh, So what we need to do, we need to exactly break the element on the elbows. So this is your elbow arm length. So I need to break the element. For example, uh, this is uh, uh, 14 inch. So 14 inch means 14 into 25.4 to 1.5. You'll get 533. So our elbow dimension is 533. Okay. So now we, we break this uh, 5896, 5896 5, minus 534 mm, we make it as 534, 533.4 elbow arm length, so we make it as 534. 5360, you need to break this, 536, this is, okay, like this, this is 5360, you need to break this, control B, 1090. 5362. Correct, no? yes. Uh, see, so after this, uh, we have broken this one. And let's say 534 ever 
as our elbow length okay so go to this element and uh, you have to model one rigid so don't go to the next element because uh, in the next element you will have the trunnion so we need to model the rigid from this point here because uh, uh, now we are going to model the elbow trunnion only so your uh, trunnion will be here trunnion base plate okay trunnion for example if, trunion, if you want to uh, if more uh, if, uh, if you want to reduce the height of the trunnion then what we need to do we we do we do like this also you can reduce the height of the trunnion or you can provide one t post or goal post or anything depends on the size because in your trunnion calculation if failure is there uh, particularly for the elbow trunnion generally if uh, for the elbow trunnion if you are adding reinforcement pad then you have to cut one elbow then only you can make the R of pad so it will be a waste of one elbow so you need to avoid R of pad on the elbow trunnion uh, at the pipe means okay uh, I mean like this here if you are providing R of pad then it is okay okay because this will be uh, I mean the R of pad can be created from the pipe they will cut the pipe into off and they will uh, 120 degree they will make the uh, uh, R of pad I'll show you how of pet it is. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, this is the height of the tunian. So maximum is 900. Oh, no, there is no R of pet. So here, I, I will show you in the next this one. This is a shoe type support. Okay, so. Now we have modeled this and go to the previous element. For example, uh, we, have, we have done the modeling, sorry, we have done the modeling in this direction. Here and it will, it is going like this. So if you have done the modeling from here, like this, and uh, your sequence is like this means, then you have to break this element from here to here okay so after this element only you need to model the rigid okay i i will show you i will show you if, if the modeling is in this direction so now after this control i insert 1091 to 1091 sorry 1090 to 1091 and in the vertical direction only you need you are going to model the rigid the vertical direction so this rigid has to be your elbow dimension 534 so on pipe is appeared up to this trunnion size only i mean uh, pipe size only you have, you have to maintain okay the rigid portion will be your trunnion pipe size Okay, so I have to make this one as rigid, and then once once you made this, you go to the lowest element, because up to here it should be your uh, trunnion, sorry, pipe temperature, uh, pipe material, everything will be same. So for trunnion, go to the lowest element because already we have modeled the trunnion. I have to remember this as one zero nine one. From node should be go to the lowest element. Add C. 1091 and this one is uh, 20,050 okay and then in vertical you just enter as 500 or 400 or 300 any any dimension based on this for example 600 okay so this is uh, uh, the same size for 14 inch already we have selected a trunnion the same size only it is here so you can leave like this and then rest time that's why point three. So like this, you can do the modeling. So if you check the temperature, why uh, we have selected at the lowest element means you have to model the tunin at the lowest. After the equipment, if you model, then because uh, the temperature and pressure will be same uh, for the tunin. So it should be ambient. That's why 
if you keep at the loss means it will be easy for you if you model after this uh, this rigid itself again your modeling means you need to change the temperature again and again so for our convenience purpose, uh, purpose uh, uh, we have to, we are modeling at the lowest element okay so this is uh, albertonian and now if you want to model any tonian here uh, for example if you want to uh, add any support if this support is uh, not a rigid support it, if it is not directly resting on the steel so instead of this any tonian is there then it is resting on the steel or something means so what we need to we need to model the tonian at this location same same procedure only now after this element so it is going in this direction okay so after this element control b sorry control insert you have to insert the element and then one three two one so so you need to model the rigid from center of the pipe to the od of the pipe like this so you know 355.6 is our od of the pipe divided by 2 so here you have to make it this n as rigid 1321 you remember this node number go to the lowest element control end sorry then again go to the lowest element 1 3 2 1 and in the vertical portion we enter the uh, example 1 meter is there means you make it as 1 meter and then you provide the support here 0.3 okay so if any guide is there uh, select 20070 and then in x direction you have been this is guide and this direction means it is limit stop along the axis of the pipe is limit so i will explain you regarding the supports this direction means that is limit stop so like this you need to model the tunian in different directions okay so for example, if you want to model uh, Trunian in horizontal Trunians, uh, like this. We have seen uh, we have seen this one and this one. And uh, th this thing. So if you want to model like this, some horizontal Trunians. Okay. Uh, for example, you can select any location. Uh, maybe here uh, if you want to model anything okay so what we need to do we need to model a rigid which direction you are modeling this direction only you need to model the rigid for example if horizontal tunian is like this okay then you have to model the rigid till the uh, center line of the portion of the equipment after that tunian will be model and here you will have support okay so then uh, what we need to do we need to break this element this is in vertical direction so we are going to model in the horizontal so go to the next element so you need to break this one your uh, uh, elbow length is 534 control b 110 and uh, your elbow length is 534 that elbow length you have to break Okay, for any elbow, uh, I mean tunian, you need to break the elements uh, into two. So this one is for the elbow length and the other is for the pipe that you leave it. So now go to the control I, insert 110, 111. So now we are going to model our, our tunian pipe is in this direction then. I have to model here, one minute. I have to model a rigid from selected yellow portion. Okay, and then 
untrained here. Go to the next element and then insert. Already we have inserted and in z direction because this is in z direction, correct? No? So we need to model here in z direction. In minus z direction, sorry. Uh, it should be in minus z direction. You see, this is plus z. This is plus z and this is minus z. You need to model that rigid in minus direction. That is your elbow length, 534. So you got this one, you see, on pipe, you have, it's appeared. So double click this rigid. And then go to the lost element. For Trunian, you have to go to the lost element. So oh, what is this rigid number? 111. Okay. Next, I'll see. 111 and uh, this way, this way, why I am not changing anything is this continue automatically uh, 20 node increment will be there so that's why uh, we, we are maintaining the same thing and you have to enter the tunian uh, you know the tunian sizes remain same because this is same 14 inch so that's why I am not changing anything if any tunian size change changes you need to change the tunian size here okay so minus uh, 300 m example I'm telling. Where is the time? Oh, 111. Sorry, triple one zero. 111. Okay, so your tunin uh, is uh, at minus, sorry, minus 300 means you have to select and then double click the digit. You enter the support point like this. Okay, so like this only you need to check. If you check the temperature, you see it is in ambient only. It should be ambient temperature. Like this, you need to model the Tronian support. Uh, and uh, depends on your uh, this one. For some clients, what they will ask us to do means if you want to consider here uh, for uh, uh, for pipe Tronians, they, they will ask us to consider as T supports, something like that. Sorry, SIFS and T's you need to mention. Here, yeah. if any, this one is there. So now we are going to model here means you need to make it as SIFS and T's in the uh, stress design basis or in the support specification it will be mentioned. So modeling procedure for Trunian. Okay. And for elbow Trunian always uh, you have to remember if you are modeling any elbow Trunian you have to make this as single flange. Okay. So any elbow Trunian if you are modeling you make this as a that's a single flange. You have to enter like uh, like this. Okay. So here uh, I made it as uh, subsidy. So I'm going to remove this. Okay. So like this, you need to model the tunian, and uh, after this, we need to check the tunian calculation sheet. In the tunian calculation sheet. Uh, this is also depends on your project. You will you will have the Tunian calculations, Tunian calculation sheet. Okay. So there will be uh, different for different projects. Uh, different clients will have different. For example, you see a lot of Tunian calculation sheets are there. So in every uh, every project you will have to and calculation sheet. So that depends. So different Tunian calculation. I, I will share, I will show you one uh, Tunian calculation sheet. Then you will come to know. It will be same only. So this Tunian check uh, uh, calculation will be based on Kellogg's formula. That is Kellogg's method. They will call it as Kellogg's. So in some clients they will use different calculation also. Uh, main aim is to check the local stresses. Because of Trunian, if any local stresses formed at this location, wherever we are welding the Trunian, no, that location, if any local stresses are there, thus local stresses only we are going to check with this Trunian calculation sheet based on the formula provided in, uh, in uh, Kellogg's method. 
this this is a formula they are using so our my name is we need to fill the values here okay then we will see what is the type of the trunian we are used and uh, we need to see how the values are affected or not if it is the stresses are okay then what what happen means here it will show it is passed first if any failure is there then you need to see the solution so what to do uh, we need to add any hour of pad like that okay so we'll see how to check the results so so once you complete this one and run the file so uh, i will tell you in another class how what are all the things to be checked as you see you are if you run this one that's why directly you should not run first you have to check the start run select here there should not be any error here is one error is there. that is node 1090 already existing at the near point don't try to respecify so you, you want to see that node number means 1090 1, uh, 1100 type and directly go there or the error if you double click it will go to that element at the error see e or or over no at that point it, see the mouse cursor is there you double click it will go to that particular node so here what happen means uh, for generally elbow uh, I, I forgot to tell, uh, tell you during the modeling time so this is that one for any elbow So if you are modeling exactly the Tunian length, sorry, the elbow length. So here it uh, for any elbow you should have four nodes. One, two, and three. Minimum three nodes should be there. Okay. For example, one zero nine zero to one one zero zero means if uh, I will double remove this one. Okay. So now, uh, so 1090, so here, now you see, previously it was different, uh, different node numbers, no? angle 1, 1099, this is the midpoint of the node, 1090 to 10, 1100, if you press F1, There will be three node numbers. Your uh, elbow will be, I mean, selected in three node numbers. One is at the at this point. I told you, you know, at this point, and one it as a midpoint, and one is at the end point. Okay, so minimum three node numbers should be there. Here you have okay ten uh, ten difference on zero nine zero to thousand hundred. There will be there is a difference of ten. For example, if you if you model like this one zero nine two. Double click this. Oh, okay. You go to the last element. Here. If I enter here on 092. So what amendments you select this? Go on. Sorry, 1092, it went to the different element. I'll show you in some other node number. Now it is correct. Yeah, for example, here. Here, this is uh, 721. We'll make it as 534 here. So, 721 minus 534 is 187. So this 187 you have to add here. Otherwise, no, this will not get connected. Uh, some error will be showing. This 187 has to be added here. 187. So exactly if you are giving the L pole, you should have minimum three node numbers. Otherwise, uh, so you see this midpoint, M is midpoint. And your 158 and 159 is, this is 159 and this is 160. So 
So from 142, sorry, 13402, 13558 uh, will be uh, up to here. So this is your 1359 and this is your 1360. For example, here 1342, only two node number, three node number you have selected. Okay, 1342. So here, if you double click, so it is it is taking the value 1341. So at least you should have 1340, 1341 and 1342. So by mistake, you are given 1341, only one. Double click this, go to the next element 1341. It will form but you see the node number you see here there is no particular node number like this so it will go to the some other element so you should not do like this minimum should two two node numbers should be there okay one three four two. sorry the, the difference should be two node numbers so totally three nodes should be there for all the trunnions so if you are exactly modeling what happened means it, it will show only the midpoint because there is a there are two node numbers only okay for example in this case you see uh, I mean we have model with pipe and tunian uh, so different node I mean angle 2 also it will show okay so if you break this break this and exactly you model the tunian means it will show that error whatever we have we got no this error already exist at the bend near point on the element don't try to re-specify so if you get this error the error number 45e this is 45e so uh, what we need to do we need to go to that element you delete that uh, elbow double click the elbow again you select the elbow so your error will get rectified you see, uh, you see. so now what we need to do you double delete this old field and double click the node and you select single flange so once you double click you see automatically angle 1 only will be there angle 2 will not be there now you can check start run see error 0 uh, error, error is solved ok after this you batch run So now you see the Trunian calculation sheet. We'll see what are all the inputs to be checked. Inputs to be provided. First, you see pipe uh, Trunian input pipe data. In this parent pipe. Parent pipe size. That is your main pipe says okay first we'll say any tunian so we'll take this uh, this tunian vertical tunian and your parent pipe says is 355 this is your parent pipe no so this this one So your parent pipe is 14 inch. So you have to enter, you have to select here. 14 inch pipe is there or not? You need to see. Yeah, it is there. It is 350 NB. And what is the schedule? Schedule is standard schedule only. So here you need to select standard schedule. It is already standard. So a parent pipe thickness is 9.55. It is 9.53. Same one. And then your trunnion pipe says go to the next see here trunnion pipe says so what is our trunnion pipe says it is 12 inch 
correct no so 29.5 cc is 12 inch sorry here this is 12 inch select 12 inch here that is 300 mp and schedule is standard only okay and what is our color sonance it is 3 mm here we have used here we meant 3 mm uh, don't consider re, uh, or of pad now it just mentioned us keep it as blank and material number so material number you have to select it is a 106 grade b one so material number uh, it is mentioned as three so you need to check from where they got this three you see uh five schedule i think uh, from here they got it yeah this is a material number so this is a material number and uh, this is carbon steel a 106 grade if some other material or stainless steel material or this material ap file grade b or something they are used means you have to select like that accordingly you need to change the material number okay so this in or uh, this tonian calculation set will vary from project to project so but basic idea is you need to check the local sources you need to enter all the values whatever we are entering no so maybe some uh, in other some other uh, spreadsheet you will not the material number you will not have you have only the material types you need to select the material so basic idea is you have to select the values and uh, uh, material and other details from your input only okay. and design temperature what is your design temperature in this case so your design temperature is 200 degrees so here you enter 200 okay and what is your pressure the pressure is 70 70 newton square correct so newton per centimeter square so newton per cm square to per How much? Uh, 73.575. 73.575. This 7.3575 bar. So here you enter 7.3575 bar. Okay. Uh, so next thing is very important. This, this is the thing you have to enter correctly. Then only your result will be correct. Uh, you see, longitudinal load. Or circumferential load and an axial load. You have to go to the output. First, you have to understand what is longitudinal load. For example, now we are checking only this one. This tonian. Okay, for this tonian, you see they are given. So your axial is. The tonian pipe direction is your axial force okay and vertical y direction that is f axial means x is your axial direction axial force and uh, longitudinal force fl is longitudinal force that is your vertical direction fy will be your vertical direction and circumferential force is your other direction that is x y we are given z direction is your circumferential force for this particular tonian and if you are uh, calculating for elbow then we need to check according now we will see first this one then we will go over to the uh, elbow tonian next one next okay so in this case you need to select this one tonian 20010 so you have to uh, you have to be very careful and uh, this node number has to be provided somewhere in the Excel. You say, ah, here it is. There, it's node number is two zero zero one zero. So first, you need to enter the stress shifter number, and then the node number has to be appear here. Okay, two zero zero one zero. So two zero zero one zero means that is your horizontal tonian for the vertical pipe. So go to the output. You select hydro all operating cases, and with such strain. Okay, then red strain summary extended. Wave reports. I will tell you how to uh, check the reports and all uh, in another class. So 
how to check the output and what are all the things to be checked in the output everything now you go to node number 20010 so here this option is there no find in report you select this find node and 200 and 0 what, what is the node number required is just enter and find next so you see it is appearing here 20010 so 20010 it is there and uh, you need to see which value you have to enter so your axial direction first uh, longitudinal load it is given so what is your longitudinal load our fy is your longitudinal load. what is your fy value so you see the maximum value you consider 10 triple 9 you have to enter the maximum value is 10 triple 9 that is in Newton, uh, the unit you need to check properly, if it is in Newton means you enter the Newton or you need to convert the uh, units, okay. Then circumferential load, so circumferential load, what is circumferential load is Fz, we have seen, no, so in, in this case Fz is your circumferential because Y is your longitudinal and X is your axial, Z is your circumferential. So you need to enter circumferential load. This is F Z. 39.54. Enter circumferential load as 39.54. So this load is very high. Generally, uh, vertical load will be more always. If the loads are more in the horizontal direction, then uh, that support is not working properly. You need to adjust the support because the horizontal load should not be more than the vertical load. Always uh, you have to remember this. The horizontal load should not be more than uh, vertical load unless otherwise if it is a limit stop or in a rare case we will leave like that. Okay, so that will be a special design. Okay, so always remember your horizontal load should be lesser than your vertical load. So in this case you see it's a three times more than the uh, vertical load. And then your axial load. So axial load is x direction, that is 512. And ohm length, what is the ohm length? Means your overall length of the pipe, uh, trunnion length. So it is 500 mm. So this is also very important, 500 mm. Because one, I told you know, if length increases, then a failure will be more. Okay, so now you see, for this, we need to check the result. You see, result in straight pipe. Result in straight pipe. So, it is pausing in one case, but you see, it is failing in another case. That is, your circumferential stress. Longitudinal plus axial, uh, it is clearing. Okay. But uh, your circumferential plus axial, it is very high because uh, in the input we see, no, this uh, circumferential load is very high. So, uh, either you need to reduce that circumferential force, definitely you need to reduce or introduce or of pad. Uh, we'll see whether or of pad will work or not in this case. Or of pad means or of pad will be your parent pipe thickness, that is 9.525. It just enter 9.525 here. We will see the result. You see it is getting passed. Okay. So you can pass like that or you need to reduce the load. So uh, we are, I mean, I am not ready to going to use uh, RFED or client is not accepting to use RFED. Uh, remove this one. Okay. And uh, how to uh, reduce the uh, circumferential load here. That is in x direction. So, uh, either you, you can give gap, okay, just to give 3 mm gap, or you remove the guide. If it is not required, then you remove the guide. Okay, just give gap and run the analysis.
Again, I will see. Let's select all the cases. If required, you select hydro, otherwise you can leave. Okay. Better you select hydro also. So select it like this and go to two double zero one zero. You see your load has been reduced to twenty one thousand previously. So your it is this thousand seven one nine. And this one twenty one four nine seven, and they were axial load is five one three. Now we will see the result. So again failure is there means our allowable is two not seven, but uh, our circumferential is three fifty five. That means uh, that support is creating issue. So we need to see. I mean, if you want to remove the support, you can remove the support. If it is not mandatory, but if it is mandatory, then the support. Then you have to add R of pad 9.525. Then you can qualify the stress. Like this only you have to do. Understood? No. Okay. So like this for the horizontal tunings, we we can do. And if you want to still reduce your uh, this one. Uh, forces in the analysis, so you need to add more gap three, instead of three three mm, go for five mm. Or uh, if the uh, guide support is not mandatory, you remove the guide support and you qualify the stress. For example, uh, I'm just uh, if you give stiffness zero, that means that support is not uh, uh, applicable here. Okay, so now you go to the uh, run this. Uh, you can reduce the ohm length also. That uh, sometimes that may help also. You see, with, without uh, or of it, without or of it, I am going to reduce ohm length as 300. If you go to the result, uh, the stresses has come down, but it is not helping that much. So you maintain uh, original uh, ohm length. Now I removed the support. I remove the guide support. We'll see. So, if you are checking particular support, you can use filter option that I will tell you later. Twenty zero one zero. I see now for vertical is or uh, longitudinal sense seven C two, and your circumferential is. 3206. You see, I removed the support, then the load has been reduced, and the axial is 530. If you see the result now, it is getting pass. Without or of pad, it is getting passed. So you need to check whether that uh, guide support is mandatory. If, it, if the guide support is mandatory, you have to add the guide support, try to reduce the load, and then use or of pad. If it is not mandatory, you just remove that guide support. Uh, it will easily help us. Okay. So now uh, it is same as for other uh, uh, vertical. I mean, uh, this pipe tunnel also. Now we will see in the elbow tunnel of this case two zero zero five zero. So in this sheet, uh, you see a lot of things are there. I mean, elbow tunnel again, horizontal tunnel, all are same only. But uh, we need to see which one is applicable for us. For this, uh, what we need to do again is save this file. And uh, save this file as uh, 200. What is the node number? 200050. 200050. Okay. So here you need to change this one 200050 and go to the output 200050. Double click this two zero zero five zero. Ah, you see, 
in this case in 20050 that is elbow trunnion so our vertical vertical will be axial in this case vertical will be axial in last case you see our fx is axial now your trunnion direction is your x always your trunnion direction will be axial direction whether it is horizontal or vertical in this case fx is your axle in this case fo is your axle so you see fo is axial direction we enter the axial direction 35479 and uh, longitudinal direction so which is your longitudinal direction your horizontal direction of the pipe is your longitudinal direction so what is your horizontal direction z direction so this is your look no, because your pipe is coming down and it is taking like this it's going in z direction whether plus z or minus z not issue so fz will be your longitudinal direction you see it is given no like this here yeah. your longitudinal direction is fz so what is your fz 9500 you enter that value 9500 oh yeah directly enter the value means so we know these values because since this is the same line so no need to change any, change anything if uh, trunnion size or line number or anything changes then you have to change accordingly okay i didn't change anything because uh, since uh, design parameters and line size everything remains same only thing we need to check the ohm length here so here ohm length is 600 you need to change the ohm length as 600 so now we entered axial load longitudinal load next is circumferential so circumferential load in this case is x direction will be your circumferential load so x is 7790 so always uh, uh, in trunnion calculation your circumferential force only decide the stresses so uh, your circumferential uh, force is lesser than the long uh, axial force and longitudinal then definitely this uh, uh, trunnion will pass okay there will not be any impact on the stresses So now you see we added all the values. Then we'll see the uh, result elbow vertical trunnion. VT means vertical trunnion because our is our is vertical trunnion only. So go to the result elbow vertical trunnion. You see still failure is there, but this is somewhat marginal only. Uh, uh, our allowable is two zero seven. Our allowable is two zero seven. And uh, circumferential plus axial is two thirty four. So thirty four twenty seven newton per mm square. What is it? Yeah, twenty seven mega pascal is more. So you need to reduce that one. So for that, uh, so main thing here is in the input sheet you can see axial load. Axial load is very high here. So uh, in this case, axial load. If you want to reduce means it is very difficult because all loads this well from this well from this well off of the load would be transferred to this one, this well, and this flange is there. Well, off of the load is transferred this one, and from this pipe, this entire pipe will be weight will be transferred to this support only. That's why the ver vertical load is very high. Okay. Or you can check uh, if you reduce the uh, momentum, then you will see how oh, if the load is reduced or not. Or you can try by shifting this support to this location, so it may help move the support towards this direction or this direction uh, at this location. So this may reduce because your pipe moment will be in. Uh, pipe will move like this and it will go down like this so if you provide this one what happen your reaction force will be more your support is like this so it is opposing this moment your moment is like this so it is stopping this moment so that means your reaction force will be more so in this case what because uh, you see uniformly the loads are same only Almost in some cases it is less. So maximum at the design temperature only the cases the load is high, two four. 
Okay. So our if you want to introduce an our fed uh, in elbow support, I told it is uh, it is not uh, advisable. Or if you introduce an our fed, then it's, it will get easily passed. Nine point five to five. Uh, you see, it has been reduced. In this case, it's marginally only failed. Now, so you can try to reduce the uh, uh, forces, or uh, can reduce the ohm length to 300 something. We'll see whether it will get passed or not. I uh, see it is get getting passed. So if it is passed, means so immediately what we need to do, we need to check, we need to change here as 300. Sorry, it is 3000, so 300. And then run this. Run the system. So again, you need to check. The loads. Two zero zero five zero. So you see our axle load is vertical direction, that is thirty four three two zero. And uh, your longitudinal is your z direction. The z direction is 9202. So it, you see, it, is, it has been reduced. And your circumferential is increased. So you see, 8313. So this is the actual value from C0 output. So our uh, moment term has been reduced. In this case, also, it is getting pass. Okay. So you can do like this also instead of introducing our of bed so you, you can reduce the loads in the caesar by reducing the ohm length or you can adjust the support in a different uh, locations at different locations okay so the, everything it depends on your stress design basis and support standard and support specification so you have to be very much careful how to select the supports so there are a lot of uh, tonian supports I mean, uh, like this these are the ma major type of uh, tonian support i think uh, you, you would have understand in a better way if you have any doubt please let me know okay we, we will discuss in another class thank you very much